You don't wait on that side. Ready? You go in. That's fine, we're joking. Hey, look, it's me, it's Johnny Boy. In this video, we talk about how to get your business out there if you're starting. Tell us a little bit about me, about the history, but don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. All right, mate? And action. What? What do you want to ask me? How, how, many, how long have you been doing the job, John? Hey, look, that's true. How long have you been doing the job? Well, as a kid, I started out as an apprentice carpenter, right? And uh, I got the sack. Sack. I did about nine months, or oh, I think I did about a year, I think, about, and they wouldn't let me sign my indentures. You'd have to sign indentures years ago, like your paperwork. And I was working for a company called uh, Walsmith Contractors over in Newit near Gloucester, like you know. And uh, basically, somebody's going to say about my shoveling, aren't they? And basically, I started this apprenticeship as a chippy, and I got the sack. I wanted to go in the army at the time, and uh, wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the army or whether I wanted to do um, work as a chippy. But I wanted to be a bricklayer. Sounds all confusing though, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, so as time went on, I joined the army. That didn't work out. I'd come out. But prior to the army, after I got the sack, uh, and I remember Mr. Owl sacked me. I went into the office. They would call me on a Friday. And um, I remember a chippy, one of the guys having to go at me and throw an hammer at me. And they thought that was acceptable because I jumped on him and sort of, he was bigger than me, but I had a go, like, you know. And they, I went back and they, because I had a go at him and I swore they, they sacked me, so that was it, it was over. So I went working in the chicken factory at Freeman's, Freeman's Chicken Factory, any of you guys know Freeman's over in Newham. Worked there for a little while, uh, nearly got the sack from there, and then went in the army, and it was in the Paris, I joined the Paris, it didn't work out for me, um, didn't stay, not because I wasn't fit, I was always fit and healthy, but just, I wanted to do my own thing. So I, uh, it's like a life story this, isn't it? So I didn't mean to do this, so then I come out, and then my brother got me a job in Worcester, working for Avon Contractors, uh, Avon, uh, Avon Contractors, Landscape Contractors. So I was working there and I learnt loads there from, some, from the old guys doing the old curving. Absolutely brilliant. Moved up to Essex and uh, that's how it is. That's how it started. Um, and here we are today, landscaping all those years later. So that was when I was about 20, somewhere around that young lad. And uh, I'm just looking at brickwork now. It's all good up and down. Can't take your eye off it, can you? Like that. Anyway. Sorry. What would you say to a, a new up and coming landscaper? I get it right in it. Yeah. That's the only thing you can say. Everything yeah. you do, right, from when you start out, one thing used to drive me insane over the years when you go to the bank, if you say you started as a new business, and years ago they used to have this, they had a scheme going to help new starters, and uh, you had to go to the bank and you have to do a, a cash flow forecast. The cash flow forecast being of your work and what you think you've got coming in etc and the thing is about the cash flow forecast is they want to forecast but you're lying you're making the figures up that's what banking systems do it and it was just lying you could told them anything and uh, i'm going to get this amount of customers and blah, blah blah but the reality is that you don't get the customers that you're looking for sometimes so i think the most important thing is that you could write a list of the things that you need to do when you start a business um, say branding uh, and logos and that sort of stuff um, letter ads um, you know um, uh, making sure you've got an accountant that's so important go and speak to an accountant do you know what I'm saying yeah. right from the word go because sometimes you do things and later on you you regret it so it's important to speak to an accountant first and they'll give you some advice you need to take advice from different areas but then what you need to do is to put it together and your list that you make every day lists are so important you make a list and in that list you'll have one to ten or one to twelve however you list how big you want it and then what happens is your next list then the priorities change okay as time goes on so for example you made a list and say maybe your branding or your logo is number three or number four when you get that done that's gone so you have to make a new list but when you make a new list what it does in your mind, you can actually, even if you're not good at writing and all that, it doesn't really matter, but make that list, right? Because when you've done your branding and your logo, your list becomes shorter. And you might not know it, but it, subconsciously, you know that's gone, isn't it? It's done, it's created. So your livery on your van, getting the sign written being done, that's so important because you all pick up work. I haven't got the van sign written, I, I, I've just, just don't do it and, and, I, I've, and I, I have done it in the past but I don't do it now because I don't need to because I get the work in but the fact is getting your van sign written is so important because just as when your internet's not working it drops off or you're advertising years ago you used to have to pay to go in like the Worcester Evening News or the, the Gloucester Gazette or the, the Newport Argus that we had down here so you would do those 
there was adverts in there and it would cost you so much but now we don't have to do it social media is a fantastic way of getting out it's free okay it's almost like television you get to massive amounts of people which is good it's important to get to those people but when you get to those people you've got to get a good message and your message should be through either your pictures or your references your reviews so there's a thing called Google my business fantastic it's free Google is the biggest search engine in the world it's not Facebook it's not Instagram it's Google okay if you look for Facebook or Instagram if you haven't got it as an app on your phone you look on Google don't you yeah. you know it's like yeah like um, I forget the, 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 the other search engines anyway it doesn't matter Google number one search engine you go on Google my business you can set your business up up there get a good logo and then what you've got to try and do once you've done that is that the image that you're portraying should be a positive clean smart image do I make mistakes yes I do I make mistakes in the pictures I produce sometimes and I always think people will say to me you don't post many pictures of the finished work because the biggest thing for me is the visuals the eye level and unfortunately my customers don't always have the budget for the planting I think the planting is so important the planting the fencing those visuals what we walk on is the wearing course and the wearing courses we don't walk around with our heads down all day do we we just don't do it so the visuals are important so when you put a picture up on Google my business those images need to be clean cut smart contemporary and then what you want next to your Google you want your Google reviews so your customers you, you've got to get your customers so when you send it uh, two years ago, we used to uh, have letters of references and you save your letters and put them in your little brag pad along with your pictures in your photo album. But obviously with Google, you can do your images and then you can, you can have your, your review alongside it. And then obviously if you build a website, have your image of some finished pictures. People don't want to see. I used to take people through these, this process of having a look at all the work. Oh look, this is where we dug it out. Oh look, this is where the soil arrived. They don't want to see that. They, they want to see the finished picture. They want to see the table, the chairs, the glass of wine in the garden, the living lifestyle pictures. That's important. And you need less of them because it makes a statement. It says what it is. Maybe about three or four pictures or four, five or six pictures. You could even have, you could embed a video on there or a link to your YouTube account if you've got a YouTube account. But what it is with the videos, um, they can hear. They can hear the sounds, the rustic, the, 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 the grass is moving, it's, it's very atmospheric and sends a clear message. So there are a number of things you can do, but I think at the moment is that if I was a consumer looking for a contractor, I would look for some of these things. It's so important. Letters of references, look, read the reviews, make sure they got some public liability insurance, all right? So important. And as a contractor, if you're a contractor out there, all right, we've got a lorry coming out. If you're a contractor out there, right, it doesn't cost a lot for public liability insurance. That's enough now. We've got a delivery. Follow me in part two. We're going to get this video up on YouTube now. In the meantime, subscribe.